Greetings, friends! In some people's eyes, we live a pretty weird and unusual life. <laughs> We're a family that lives in a yurt. We grow all kinds of different food. We forage sometimes. Yep. We raise animals, chickens and ducks, and we actually eat their eggs. Yep. <laughs> I know that some people, this is very, very unrelatable to a lot of people these days. Yes. But for the most part, in all of our weirdness, those things, as well as other things that people would consider weird that we're not even mentioning right now. Because <laughs> there's more. The list is long. At the core of it all is connection and family. Yeah. All of that is why we do what we do. Yep. Even all our weirdness. So it's because we love each other. <laughs> yeah. And we want to protect one another yes. and other people and good information. All of the weirdness, yes. Yeah, we want to live a more connected lifestyle just all around. Yes. Another one of the weird things about us is we don't watch regular TV. With no cable TV, we cancel no. it and don't watch any of that stuff. No. And actually frankly just can't watch it even if there's been times where we in the past where we had sporting events on and the kids are like covering their eyes because there's things on TV that we don't want them to see and when they don't want to see either your children automatically know for just from the music yeah. that's played during commercials that they need to hide their eyes and we didn't even teach them that that was something a, another amazing thing is that Sayla ever since she was little she could tell music changes oh this is not good yeah. and she would tell everybody to hide their eyes so I mean, yeah it's, it's a sad world we live in that you know our children have to do that but and there's just a lot of stuff on there that don't match up with the values that we have and it promotes violence and yes. fear and just things that we don't want that are contradictory to the character that we're trying to instill in ourselves as and well our as our children yes. so we're really mindful of what we watch and even one of the things that we've been really trying to do a, a lot of is each week is we try to have family movie night and uh, i must say it's a challenge to find good suitable <laughs> movies and material to watch as a family You're right it is. so uh there's actually research time that goes into selecting what i select for us to watch but uh, we end up finding that a lot of times we end up going back and watching some of the older movies and older TV shows. Like, I'm a huge fan of The Waltons and Little House on the Prairie. Yeah. So uh, we usually watch those kind of things. And let us know in the comment section below, what's one of your favorite TV shows? Yeah. And or movie, you can say that too. One of the newer shows that I we like as a family, it's called Bringing Up Bates. And yeah. it's about this family of, uh, how many kids do they have? 19 or whatever? 19. It's similar to the Duggars. And we really like that, yeah. that show. And that's one that we do watch. Yeah. And uh, we actually stream that one. So that's been an enjoyable one to watch. So a lot of times we'll have our candy TV time and time that we share together but then the other times and it's been this way for a number of years now is we watch YouTube and mm -hmm. I know for a lot of you watching YouTube is a better way to get information and as well as entertainment yeah and uh, there's I first started watching YouTube just because of the how-to videos. You you want to know how to do something? Uh, just, just look it up YouTube. on YouTube. That's right. How do you do this? <laughs> and over the years, it's it's actually grown to more where we're really interested in watching vlogs and and real families living their life, sharing their life, and the different things that that they do. And you can let us know in the comment section below what's one of your favorite YouTube channel or channels to watch. And hopefully ours. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we're in the list somewhere. Maybe the <laughs> top three, hopefully top five, something like that. But um, that's been the case for us too. Uh, we have really enjoyed watching Justin Rhodes and his family on their channel. It was the first channel that I can recall watching that I watched a regular vlog and not a how-to yeah. video on yeah. YouTube. Yeah. So uh, it's been neat to see their progression. We actually met their family before, before they, they ever started, started the YouTube. So that makes it even more special is because we've known them even before they started their, their YouTube channel. Yeah, and having their YouTube channel has given so many others the opportunity to get to know them and their yeah. family. But we first met them when uh, he just released or was getting ready to release the Permaculture, Permaculture Chickens. Chickens video. And uh, when I saw the trailer for that video, I was like, I want to meet this guy. I want to know what he's doing. That is 
pretty neat. I am fascinated by it. And then I, I looked them up and I'm like, they're only two and a half hours from our house. This is so cool. Yep. So that then we got to meet up with them yeah. right there on their homestead and our family's connected really well. And then we've just been friends ever since. Now, Rebecca told me one time, she said, whenever I got your email that y'all wanted to come visit us on our farm, she said, I was like, who wants to come visit our farm? That's how she felt um, whenever I sent that email to her. And I mean, now, like, six years later, lots happened. And they've been um, an integral part of our lives. And we really thank them for all that they do and continue to do and be our friends. And um, it's just really great. It sure is. It sure is. And um, ah. and one of the things is, is, is tough. I know there are some people out there, and we get those comments too, of where people aren't fans of theirs. And um, as knowing them, knowing the struggles that they have gone through to be where they are his uh it hurts when you see those comments about your friends i can understand that if you don't enjoy or get something out of watching somebody's video or whatever there's just videos and and youtubers and different things out there that i don't get something out of too and don't find that connection even if it's not like you're bashing their videos if you don't find like you connect that's fine but it's another thing when when people start bashing somebody and then even also falsely accusing them or assuming that they do certain things certain ways and i take uh, offense those, those to hurt, that those in, hurt. Our, in our comments especially so if you get a snappy comment back <laughs> for that that's me saying that because um our stories are really similar in some ways and um so whenever you say bad things about my friends, I don't take well to that. Yeah. Because we've been on really similar paths. So. Yeah. But just though it's me being snappy in the comments, it's not him. <laughs> so. And speaking of all that, they have put together their own new little docu series, and I'm so proud of him that he has put this together. I know how important film and filming is to him, and he's had failures in the past and then and now to be where he is now to be able to put something like this together is pretty awesome and we had the opportunity to have a sneak peek at their new it's like a netflix type of show feel yeah. to it yeah uh called rooted and i must say we were watching it and we sat down and watched it together as a family and we do like we normally do we, we got our popcorn together <laughs> we're sitting out Everyone was on the couch but me. Because one of the things about me is if I really want to watch something, I used to like to sit up straight, sit up where I'm not going to get all cozy and fall asleep. Because being here on the homestead, it, especially some of the past couple of days that I've had and you're tired and you're just working, it's like as soon as you sit down, you're just like, oh no, and you're just tired. So I didn't want that to happen on this one. So I got myself in a position where I had my popcorn, I had my bone broth, and I'm like, let's watch this. Can't wait to see it. So we started watching it and uh, just felt the connection right away. Uh, I have been wanting to do a film for probably since I was in my teenage years. I've always been into, just like Justin, similar into movies and into filming. And to see him doing this is pretty awesome. And he, just the opening scene was just really, really neat. And With Jonah reading. It was, it was beautiful. Jonah did a fantastic <laughs> job. He did. My roots are deep here being the fourth generation to farm this land. The farm brings me a happiness from the fields, forest, animals, and daily chores. But as we're watching this first episode, it just really does an excellent job of letting people know who they are and the struggles that they have gone through yeah. and as we're watching it we're tearing up as <laughs> we were just tearing up a minute ago but tearing up watching it hearing them share their struggles and the pain that they have and we're tearing up one because of seeing the struggle that they were in and the pain and the hardship but also as Lacey mentioned earlier also having that connection of us having our own tough times and relating in what yeah. they're saying even though the situations are different and our yeah. struggles were different they're similar similar in so many ways yeah. 
yeah they, they sure are and um i don't know it makes me think back of oh thank you <laughs> <laughs> of all the really hard things we had to do and um you know we just want to encourage y'all a lot of people say you know they start because of us well you know we started our youtube channel because of justin and rebecca yeah because they were like hey why don't you guys start a channel yeah so you can thank justin and rebecca rhodes yeah. for us even having a channel exactly. because it was never even on our radar before they even suggested it to us. No, I remember us, we just kind of maybe put together a video or two and then <laughs> they came here for the Great American Farm yeah. Tour. And I still remember him doing the video here and then us just sitting down outside talking together, just the two of us, man to man. And me sharing some of my struggles that I was going through at the time because it was uh, our struggle, <laughs> our tough time right then when he was here. We were doing yeah. what we, we were trying to get this homestead, get some momentum. Yeah. going and put it together but he sat down with me shared some of the things that he shared in the, in rooted episode one and uh he kind of gave me some advice of what i needed to do as that at that point he was they were starting to get some traction they were on the great american farm tour they had success with the permaculture chickens and they were getting them themselves out of their struggle and he was trying to lift me up and help me to come as he was going and that's one of the things that i really really respect and appreciate about Justin and hopefully says something that I take on as well that that I am not in a constant state of scarcity but I am always trying to improve and get better and at the same time help lift up others and that was that is what our friendship has been about he has been one to kind of help encourage me at the same time so I really appreciate that and here is just a clip from the episode one of Rooted the pole barn is the newest addition to our farm. We just got the cows in here a couple of weeks ago. If you would have, if you would have told me five years ago, you're gonna have a pole barn here in five years, I probably, probably would have laughed at you. I probably would have been like the same thing with Rebecca because I would have been like, nah, I I'll just use, I'll just use our old barn. I'll just use what we have, you know. It, it, I, I was still kind of in that scarcity mentality. There was a mental shift from, a, from our difficult times to where we are now. There was a huge mental change, and that included a mindset of abundance. We were walking down the road one day and all of a sudden he just was like, my leg. And I'm like, what happened? And he's like, I don't know. That was like the beginning of, what is this? I remember he like didn't run for a couple of days and then he went to go run again and he was like, yeah, it's not healed. I'm just gonna take another week off of running. So we were like, okay, you know, and it was kind of like one of those things that you just were like expecting to heal and then it just didn't. Next day, it was still there. Next day, still there. A couple of years later, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, we still haven't figured out this pain. And the pain has then moved and it's in my feet. My feet hurt. Then I'm going through these mood swings and I'm depressed. He's 34 years old. He can like barely walk and we started like seeing doctors and nobody knew, you know, we saw a physical therapist. Even, even one doctor treating me and saying, getting to his, the end of his rope and saying, here's a psychiatrist. And we started seeing this doctor in Raleigh and I just remember it being so much money. How are we gonna pay for this? And so I was like, you have to get credit cards. I, I hated to get those credit cards. In my heart, I was against debt, but really it was the only option. And, and hopefully the credit cards were gonna be temporary so that 
gets through this hard time, get me better, I'll get back earning. But eventually it became, oh, we're gonna get another, we're gonna have to get another credit card and another one, and eventually, they're not gonna give us any more credit cards. He also said to me, I feel horrible because I'm taking all of our money to try to find what's wrong with me. Our whole lives felt like they were spiraling out of control. I remember going to the grocery store and um, I remember having this list and like, and I just remember thinking like, we can't afford this. Like, I don't know where we're gonna get the money. We did dumpster dive. That was another way that we um, were helping with the groceries. He has journals that he kept during that time and like literally he was like preparing me for him to die. Like he really thought he was just gonna die. Like he just couldn't imagine continuing on living in the pain that he was in. So that was just a sneak peek of episode one. I can't wait to see the next yeah. episode. But you guys haven't seen the full episode one yet. So make sure you check out the link in the show notes below where you can see the premiere of episode one, Rooted. I'm so happy for them. I think that episode was done so beautifully. It from, will not disappoint. No, it will sure. not. The editing was done very well. The whole look and feel, the music, the material. Yeah. And it's just, it was just absolutely fantastic so definitely recommend checking out our friends and uh so happy that they're doing this series and uh giving them an opportunity to share their life on a deeper level with with all of you guys it's yeah. pretty amazing and it really um, is. i respect them for it <laughs> so hopefully i can do a movie or some kind of series one day too <laughs> <laughs> but definitely check out the link in the show notes below and uh let us know i guess See you guys later. See you next time. Bye.